G'day everyone, I'm Spetswa, and today we're here to have a look at a game called Satisfactory. What is Satisfactory? Well, to put it simply, Satisfactory is a game about building an automated factory which you can use to make the factory bigger and automate more. The fun comes from figuring out the complex systems, how they interact with each other, and how to scale up the production to allow for faster development of some of the later game buildings. Now, this may sound strikingly similar to another factory game, one called Factorio, and that's because, well, it kind of is. Though, while it has a very similar concept to Factorio, the execution is quite different. Satisfactory places an emphasis on exploring the environment, as the items you can find, a flower here, a carapace there, will lead to their own specific upgrades that are not available otherwise. This means that exploring the environment and finding the various native fauna will lead to better weapons and armor. Though, if you leave your factory alone for too long, things will not go smoothly. There is a constant need to generate power. This means burning fuel. Burning fuel means making fuel. Making fuel means collecting resources. Collecting resources means going out and harvesting, etc. This cycle means that you will inadvertently be spending a good third of your time exploring anyway as you strip the land bare of its resources. Mining can only be done on certain nodes placed randomly throughout the environment. You will need to send out a ping, which will locate resource nodes for a specific type of some kind for 10 odd seconds which will then point you in the right direction. For nodes close to your base, you can hook up an automatic extraction apparatus and connect it to your power generators to automatically mine. This becomes a tad tedious as you get further away from your hub, which requires you to either set up an automatic miner and come back later and collect resources from it, or like my coal facility here, set up a regional power source and create some sort of automated shipping route between your satellite mine and your main factory. As you can see, I had to bridge this ravine or I would never have been able to get my sweet, sweet coal. Using the various mined resources, you can set up some huge spaghettified messes. If I had longer, I sh I'm sure I would have endeavoured to create a proper concrete base, align everything to a grid and make it nice and pretty, though it's no starter factory without random mess, is it? With these various mined minerals, you can craft many types of items, usually many of each type, and use these to build structures or simply ship them off to god knows where. Though shipping these materials off will unlock additional buildings which will in turn make things easier to automate. Remember, the name of the game is to not end up playing. These requirements start out fairly reasonable, though they very quickly turn into vast amounts of resources that would take hours to manufacture by hand. And that's why you set up something like this. You automatically mine the resources, ship it over to some manufacturing apparatus through a magnificent belt system like this one here, and place the manufactured goods for collection in a storage unit. Then you just need to drop by when you get back from exploring and drop them off when you need to. As you've been able to see from the gameplay footage, Satisfactory is a very aesthetically pleasing game. The graphics are bright and colorful and the stark nature of the metallic colors of your factory make it really pop out of the landscape. The audio is also very pleasant. The taser, which is your starting weapon, has a nice shocking sound to it. The machinery's metallic clanking and grinding, which I'll put behind me now, give you a very real feeling of being part of your factory. Background music is fantastic. The tune that plays during the daytime, and has been playing for most of this video, is pleasant and bubbly, while the music playing at night, which I have swapped through right now, makes you feel so alone. Satisfactory is a brilliant experience for anyone that likes designing and building things. Creating the perfect factory first try is not likely. So there's plenty of tearing down and rebuilding where it's needed more. Or alternatively, like I've been doing, spasmodically adding machinery where it never should have been to facilitate construction of just one more thing. Satisfactory is currently in alpha, though it can be purchased from the Epic Game Store with an early access release date slated for March 19. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you had a good time.